Hey guys, welcome to this week's commentary. Jesus Christ. The AC doesn't work in the room that I'm in, our office, which is where I film, so I'm fucking sweating like a pig. But you know, I gotta wear my shirt. It's Paisley Daisley. That's the new thing, it's Paisley. Yeah, I have a designated room just for filming. Seeing as how I don't really talk about my personal life in my videos, I figured, hey, fuck it. So I made a post on my social media, my Twitter, my Facebook, my Tumblr, saying, hey, if you have questions for me, send them in, um, any topic, whatever, and I'll answer them. So that's what you're getting for this week's video. Fuck it. I might, I might start doing weird shit like this instead of just like one commentary a week. Um, because I'm lazy and fuck it. Um, I might start doing challenge videos like what's in my bag because I, girl, I got a fucking purse. You know it. So yeah, here's what you fuckers sent in. If I botch any of your names, I'm so sorry. I'll put the proper spelling on the bottom of the screen. Um, Cafe de Tour says, what made you start doing commentaries? Um, actually, I've been doing YouTube videos since about 5th grade, and commentary since about 7th grade, but all those old ones are fucking gone. The fucking DVR just came unpaused. I had it paused, because I was watching Wendy Williams. I know, she, nothing was on, I'm sorry, I know she's a bitch, I don't like her either. Hang on, let me answer this fucking question in a second, God. Can't get any fucking work done in this goddamn house. Fuck! Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. Yeah, I've been doing videos since like 5th grade. I uh, started doing commentaries in 7th grade, but they're all gone because it was an old channel and trust me, you don't want to fucking see them. I don't have them saved. If I did, I would do a commentary on them, you know. I promise. Um, I started doing it because, hey, making fun of people is fun and... I, I kind of, when I was little, used to like the, all those awful ranter channels, like fucking, um, like Big L 2K6 and stuff. And I was like, hey, I could do that. Come to find out, I'm so much more talented than Big L 2K6 and every other ranter on YouTube. Nate talks to you, ranter in shades, please make a video about me. I want attention. I want to fucking baby bird your dicks and come on my face. Conrad Thrope sent in multiple questions, so whatever. The first question is, when did you realize you were gay? Um, probably around 5th grade. Uh, believe it or not, I know, look at me. I have had romantic feelings for one girl before. Um, not physical, of course. Uh, but yeah, I first realized I was gay in 5th grade because I was like, hey, girls are kind of gross. And my dad's friend is kind of hot. Hi, Mark. You're not watching this with your fucking Tourette syndrome. When was your first time? Was it good? Um, my first time was when I was 14, and yeah, I know. He didn't know how old I was. I lied about my age. It wasn't no fucking Namble shit. And it was in the bathroom of a public park. I just fucking stuttered that so bad. Public park. Jesus. Ever gone top? Uh, yeah, I've topped a couple times, but honestly, like, penetrative sex is, it's fun, but it's so much work, and I'm so lazy. Honestly, I just want to just put it in my mouth, and I could, like, kind of tilt over and watch the TV while you get off, like... These next questions are from Matt Leslie. His first one is, what is the gayest shit you've ever done? Um, fuck. Which character from Phantasm or Flowers in the Attic do you identify with more? Uh, first off, who the fuck identifies with a person from Flowers in the Attic? What the fuck is wrong with you? Second off, I first saw Phantasm in fourth grade and it had a really profound effect on me. My parents were split up at the time and I felt like alone and I like bonded with my older brother and I, you know, then I see Phantasm and like, that kid's going through the same stuff that I am, and I really, it, it had like an impact on me or something. I hate talking about emotions. Um, and it was like, hey, I, life's not so bad. And the phantasm, it helped me when I was depressed when I was little, and it inspired me to, you know, pursue filmmaking as a career. And fuck, I hate talking about emotions. They're a scam. Emotions are a fucking Ponzi scheme. Fuck you, Banksy. Banksy? Uh, t sorry, I was talking about things I care about on camera, and that's not professional. What is your favorite word? Enough. Sarcastic Noonsa says, How many times have you sucked a guy's dick and not known his name? Um, honestly, like, probably three. 
And honestly, I, I give them a fake name if I'm if I'm opening up here. I tell them my name is James. GT Girl 7 says, "Are you going to do movie reviews again? The Village People one was really funny. Um, I would love to do Bottomy Cinema again. And now that I have a new computer to edit on, I I might try it again. Um, like I said, I'm kind of I feel in my in the the blackness that is my soul, I can feel that commentaries are kind of starting to get stale. Doing one, you know, one every single week, and I kind of want to mix it up and do like different series. So I might do one where I just talk to you guys. I might do challenges or skits, whatever. Uh, so who knows? I might pick up Bottoming Cinema again. Uh, if you have any movie requests for me to review, put them below. Um, I'm not going to review anything by Harmony Kareem. He can go fuck himself. The Bard from Space says, "What is the worst thing you've ever encountered on the internet?" Um, let's see. Oh, fuck. Uh, I've seen a Markiplier video. Oh, come on, he fucking sucks, and y'all know it. Astiolta Cat says, Have you ever looked back on your childhood and thought, Wow, I was really, really gay as a kid? Um, holy fuckballs, it's story time, y'all. I know you're gonna say I fucking plagiarized this shit, but I swear to God, this happened. When I was little, my, my brother's dad... I know. Thanks, Mom. Uh... My brother's dad went to a theme park called Wikiwachi Springs in Florida, and it's like a mermaid-themed theme park. And they do underwater shows, like you go sit in an underwater auditorium, and there's like a big screen where it's just water, and like the, there's like underwater performers, and they do plays or whatever. Um, my, he's my godfather too, I was my mom's fucking baby daddy. Uh, he brought me back a VHS of one of the showings, and I, and I watched it, and I became fucking obsessed with mermaids when I was five. And like I like I collected the mermaid Barbies that swam when you got in the in the in the pool, and I wanted to be a mermaid so bad. And I, I have a very vivid memory of me crying my eyes out, and my dad's like, "Cody, you're not gonna be a fucking mermaid when you grow up." And I'm like, "I want to be a merman, Dad." Uh, yeah, I was the gayest five year old in the world. One year for Christmas, I wanted a fucking ribbon dancer. Y'all remember those? And the last question is, are you working on any projects right now? Which yes, I am. Um, Cody Bisco Commentaries, the movie 2, is really close to being finished, I just need to, I have a couple of b-roll shots to film, I need to edit it, um, it should be out before October, I promise. Um, I'm also writing a book, it's a horror book, um, it's taking inspirations from a lot of the horror media that I consumed growing up, and it's like, I don't know, my, my way of paying back them or something, I don't know, I just want to write what's familiar to me. <laughs> the book is called Silhouettes, it's about shadow people and school shootings, and like, like racism and religious cults. And there's a self-insert as one of the main characters, and he falls in love with a redneck. While working on finishing the second movie, I'm actually writing the script for the third film. Um, it will be the final one, I think. Um, if I enjoy it, I might keep going. I might just start making standalone movies that don't really follow the continuity of the commentary movies. I don't know. Um, the second movie, really, uh, I had a lot of fun making, but it was so exhausting. Like, But the things I have planned for the third movie are so much more elaborate than anything I've ever attempted. And I'm actually looking forward to it. Uh, I guess that means that I'm passionate about my work or something. I hate emotions. Uh, see, I'm currently trying to get into an improv group, but they are not answering my text messages. I have several auditions for local films in the area. Well, this is the Valley, honestly. Uh, let's see. I have a pilot for a gay-themed comedy series on a certain YouTube network that I can't name for legal reasons because, you know, I haven't shot the pilot yet. Uh, but uh, hopefully that turns out well or something. Uh, yeah, that's it for the Q&A. Sorry if this is boring. Um, yeah, I'll probably do stuff. I don't know.